the United Against Cancer. Welcome, a uh, very good afternoon. Today we have a very important personality in the cancer landscape in Egypt, in Africa, and globally. Um, my name is Dr. Zainab Shinkafi Babudu. I'm a global cancer advocate. And the, my guest, esteemed guest today, is Professor Ahmed El Zawawi, who is a one-time distinguished president of the African Organization for Cancer Research and Training, as well as a distinguished leader in the field of oncology, serving currently as the chairperson of the Win-Win Initiative, the chairperson of the board of directors at the Global Oncology University, and the president of ICEDOC which and as and also experts in cancer without borders he has been instrumental in leading cancer research in africa and globally and is a current professor of clinical oncology at the suez canal university in Ismaila and the chairman of al soliman radiation al soliman Radiation and Clinical Oncology Center in Port Said in Egypt. We are delighted to have you, Prof, with your extensive leadership and look forward to a very interesting session. I know I would have missed a lot of things in your bio, but it is okay. We have to just do a summarized version. So if we jump straight in, uh, today, aside from the work that you have led in research uh, globally and your positions, I think one of the things that aspects of clinical oncology or oncology that you are best known for is the win-win initiative. So I want you to tell me a little bit about the win-win initiative. It's very difficult, but just tell me in a summary uh, what the goals are and what made you finally, what made you start this win-win initiative. The name is so nice. It's win-win for all of us. So tell us a little bit about it and your motivation. Well, thank you very much, uh, Her Excellency, Your Excellency, for giving me this opportunity. And I would like to, 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 to see this occasion. I hope this short interview would be a message uh, uh, transferred by you to many in the world. Because there are the reality is like that. It's not like what we exaggerate and what we pro propagate in many uh, uh, occasions. The reality is that the, uh, despite of all efforts, international and national and publication and numbers and reports, the gap between what is required and what is available and accessible for millions of cancer patients in the world is widened in the last two decades. This is published. Despite of this, some actions, yes, respectable action, respectable movement, respectable goals, respectable festivals, all, all this. But the gap is widened, and was widened in the last two decades. That is what's published. And there is no indication that this gap will be shortened uh, or become less in the upcoming 10, 10 years despite of all what we are saying. So we would like to be more uh, 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 realistic, more scientific, not with the slogan like, we have cancer, uh, in the, uh, uh, not like, uh, li like uh, before. We change the image of cancer that we know. Uh, zero cancer in Africa tomorrow. This is, this is slogans and not scientific, but we can do a lot. First, I, 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 I post some question and reply quickly. Is uh, uh, lowering the total cost of cancer care, better value cancer care, is possible via scientific approaches? Yes, there are tens or even hundreds of examples, but nobody listens. That is what our message in the win-win. Second, 
is it is a, a possible of the what is available now in Africa in the world to with radiotherapy facilities to treat double or triple number of patients in scientific way and uh, uh, without compromises outcome? Yes, 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 and it is published, and we have a book about all the, all this. But, but we have one hundred contributors from the world contributed in this, but. Nobody listen. We just repeat the, the previous uh, previous speech that we need some millions of dollars of aid from United States or from here and there to 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 give uh, pegging for here and there. No, the certain 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 question. Are uh, there are no resources in Africa or in, in developing countries? No, Africa is rich. I, I gave example in the my, my, the last lecture that the 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 uh, oncology tourism or what is paid for treating cancer from east africa every year is two billions dollars yearly so imagine these two billion dollars used to in five years this is 10 billion dollars 10 billion dollars can make east africa uh, with facilities more than uh, uh, united states but what is the problem? Because the problem is that we are not dealing with the real win-win uh, 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 incentives. Uh, we we have to satisfy the needs of the people who transfer this patient, include all who are benefit from this uh, 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 business. <laughs> it's, it's attractive to income of and our patient needs. So in $800 million from uh, here, this power or this Union, European Union or United States or something to facilitate. This do nothing, but we have a lot of resources. As I saying, about, is, it, is there is a waste uh, uh, in resources uh, uh, in, in, even in the United States? Yes, I gave one, uh, many examples in, uh, and it, it is all published in the leftover of one drug only in the United States, what is through, so, is there is ways to 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 to, to reduce this uh, the, the, to reduce this waste? Yes, it is published, but nobody listens. So there are many things to do. Other things, I would like to explain that. Also, we, when we explain when we we, we discuss uh, oncology uh, education and cancer education, most of the oncology now is just introduction with some clinical trial from from, from pharmaceutical companies. This is not the oncology. So what we would like to say global oncology that fits our patient in scientific way, in tailor to our patient in the same way that all will win. Even people and our cancer patient in affluent country in the United States. I would like to say also that is this problem that we, we see uh, some pity for our patients in Africa or Asia or Latin America, or it is a problem is global. I would like to add, uh, 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 please stop giving lessons from abroad because 40% of cancer patients in, the, in, the, in the, this year by the, by the statistic of ASCO who, who, it's, who sent their guidelines which is not applicable in, in, in our countries, it is not applicable also for 40%. It's difficult to be applicable for 40% of cancer patients in the United States. According to ASCO, American Society of Clinical Oncology Statistics, 40% of cancer patients, the first fear of cancer is economic burden. Uh, it's just surprisingly, this, this is more fear than cancer death and cancer pain. And uh, if we, uh, as I repeat some examples, and there are many, many examples. One example I repeated just to 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 to, 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 to people to uh, to, uh, to, uh, to to catch the the, the the number, but there are many numbers. The average price of thirteen new drugs, uh, cancer drugs, in the United States this uh, last year was two thousand fifty. Seven hundred thousand dollars. So it is three times the average of uh, 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 income of a family, not a person, 
in California. So you can imagine what's happening in the other states and what is happening in Gabon, in Egypt, in Nigeria, in, <laughs> in India. So we should be realistic and uh, uh, scientific in the same way. Are there ways to do this? Yes, there are many scientific ways, and we publish this, and we have now the, the, the key. Our tools for doing this is global oncology implementing science courses, which is focused on how people in Nigeria, in Egypt, in Asia, in, in, in Latin America, develop their uh, scientific work with the help of big institutes on states and Oxford and uh, Cambridge in, uh, in, uh, in Germany and everywhere to uh, uh, develop protocols that fits their, their patient and at the same time to lower the total cost, which is beneficial also for patients. Many of these can be inspired by some changes to patients in the United States, in Canada, in everywhere, because there is a problem is global, is not the problem of the, uh, 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 the Africa or Sub-Saharan Africa or some poor countries. This is problem of, uh, and would be more, uh, 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 it's worsened by, by, by time. I would like to say that also uh, uh, to, to be scientific and to return to the real uh, statistics, statistics that say that there is expected tidal wave of can increase of cancer incidence in the upcoming seven years. Not like what the uh, pink uh, ribbon and festivals and World Days and uh, uh, ASCO and uh, NCI and that. This is will, no, tomorrow. Will be, everything will be finished. No, be prepared, please. There are tidal wave of increase of cancer incident. This is published. I don't mean this. I didn't invent anything, by the way. <laughs> all is published or always by reference. Just return to, to our, my, my, our lecture and our books, you'll find many references. I don't claim anything. There are all reference. Why we don't listen to this reference by written by many experts in the United States and Canada and everywhere? There is also another increase of, uh, uh, will be another increase in the uh, cancer among younger patients. So in the upcoming 10 years, we'll see more cancers uh, 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 among uh, 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 colorectal and prostate, particularly, and this type of cancer, among younger age, among 50 years, not 70 years, 40 years, maybe 30 years, and 20 years even, in, so, in some cases. So this is, uh, is, is there is bi biological bi bi background for this, and this is published, this is just the many details, if you, you, anyone would like to, 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 to know more about this. So th this is the real picture, not Zero cancer tomorrow. This is this is this is non this nonsense. Also, cancer is not this is the, the, the cancer is the, the, the disease of the modern uh, uh, civilization and something and no cancer. If you uh, uh, Hatshepsut is a, a, a queen in ancient Egypt died with breast cancer. <laughs> By the way, this is uh, maybe I don't remember maybe thirty three three thousand years before or something like this. And there is in the mummy of ancient Egyptians there are the operated for uh, bronze tumors and for uh, for cancer. And they, they even the papyrus of Smith uh, uh, it is described the inflammatory T four it inflammatory advanced breast cancer. It it, it is explained. So it is. The cancer is not the disease of the uh, 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 of the human being only, but it is present in the mammalian mammalian cells before even many uh, uh, thousands of years before the human beings. So it is it is not due to disease, but because, as you know better than me, all of you, that. Because there is now there is no much uh, 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 infectious disease like before, and, uh, less of uh, uh, fetal um, um, uh, of infant deaths and maternal deaths and uh, many uh, uh, aging and uh, uh, all all these aspects and increase in population. So it become and a big factors. But besides the, the, the new uh, things in the new civilization, this is factors. But this is not only the acute thing about presence of cancer in our view. So uh, in TV and on many TV talks, this is a disease of the new civilization. This is not true, but it increased. 
that it's it's picture in in, in relation to other problems to uh, in the new uh, 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 in the in the, uh, in, the uh, in the new eras and it is uh, uh, what is uh, attributed to due to the, uh, the new things in civilization yes uh, smoking and all these things yes it's attributed surely other thing that I would like to to, to stress on that uh, 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 is that what I am saying that uh, 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 how to lower the total cost in ca cancer care without compromising the outcome is that possible there are tens of tens or even hundreds of examples. And this is just what we, 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 we noted. What we published, what we presented in our uh, uh, courses is just, it is not, is not all. This is stimulating examples for researchers everywhere in Africa and Asia, United States and everywhere to, to, to be focused on that. And in the same time, with realistic ways, is that, uh, against this pharmaceutical company, when I say, for example, a drug, you can reduce the, the dose by 70% or 60% without compromising the outcome, and even you can less the side effect. It is published since 10 years, not me, but it's published more than 10 years. There are many examples like this, and I imagine, I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't understand why it is not in uh, uh, we don't hear this in big conferences of ASCO, ESMO, and all these things. Well, we see you always say, uh, but we give you some millions to help you and some researchers do pity for you, but you, we can reduce a lot the, the cost of drugs with compromising the outcome. You imagine that all that, that many of the doses prescribed by the FDA themselves. Since 2008, was exaggerating in prescribing the the, uh, the, uh, the dose for 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 phase one of immunotherapy. So we can reduce a lot. Who published this? The FDA. This is I, I took this from the FDA information and from many professor in my states and the references. So we can reduce a lot. And there are many professors now are are uh, uh, experts are encouraging this and, and supporting this and say this is true, like Professor David Kerr, who is the chair of the ASCO uh, uh, International Committee, and he's a professor, uh, a distinguished professor in Oxford, uh, cancer, uh, cancer therapeutic, and he is past president of ESMO, Professor Eduardo Gazab. Many, many professors are uh, really, <laughs> really uh, 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 supporting this. Uh, uh, Kero Sikora in, in, in Packingham uh, uh, Faculty of Medicine and uh, UK and many, uh, uh, surely I inspired this from many uh, also professor like Professor Ian Tanok. I learned a lot from his, what he uh, uh, wrote and I took his uh, reference, Professor Rattan in, uh, in Leicester and many, 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 but nobody listened. Why? We can lower the total cost of cancer care via scientific approaches, not via slogan, not via uh, festivals, by scientific approach. This is our role as doctors. I speak here as a doctor and scientist, not like uh, uh, public uh, TV talks. <laughs> we, this is our role, not to speak about cancer tomorrow, cancer on yesterday, we are doing uh, zero cancer tomorrow, we are giving hope. Giving hope by your work, by scientific work, how to this family can obtain this drug or this treatment, this radiotherapy, this surgery with dignity, without ruining the economy of the family. This is the message. And this, is it possible? Yes. But we can say that, but this is if you reduce the, 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 the total cost of cancer care and then uh, uh, together, then it will be against pharmaceutical companies and industry. No, it is win-win. We should remember that 85% of cancer patients in the world didn't take their appropriate treatment. And even more than 70% didn't take anything at all. So there is a dead market. This is a very big dead market. When you improve these opportunities to use the win, it needs uh, smart ways, not, it is smartly, not hardly. It needs also a, 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 a pioneers in economics, in business, and smart deals. It needs to, to, to unite together within scientific approach 
and win win model. So, uh, from a scientific point of view, it is possible. But how we can apply this? This needs uh, people like you who advocate this patiently in the world without tireless because it's, you, 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 nobody listens from the, this is applaud for uh, the first time and this is forget after this is the persistent we would like to, 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 to change and I would like to stress here that I am not criticizing we are not criticizing any excellent key player in the world all organizations are, are excellent all the intentions are excellent but the problem is in the game not in the players so what we are trying to do is to change the game so all the players will make more goals <laughs> where we may, may win <laughs> this game and not to repeat the same uh, slogans again. This is simply. So, and so our tools is Global Oncology Implementing Science. We have this program. Please lead it and contribute in it and advocate for it. This is not... To, to, not me who, 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 uh, or 100 people with me who, who can lead this, but should be many in the, in, in the world with our, particularly with our younger colleagues who change their their focus to increase to their patient, to be patient-centered and how to, to, to the patient get their treatment with dignity. This is a this is summary. <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.